with guys this hot, it's good to be single. You know we only roll top shelf. What's up world, it's your girl Brittany and today I'm here with the beautiful single lady star, Denise Bassi, how are you? I'm good, thank you, how are you? I'm, listen, you're like the most beautiful person ever, so you're like. You're so sweet. No, I'm not, you're being humble, but I'm like kind of blushing over here. <laughs> Okay, so I got a chance to see the very first episode of Single Ladies. I'm jealous. Uh, you haven't seen it yet? No. Oh. You guys see everything before we do. <laughs> Exclusive. Um, you guys are in season three. This season, this first episode is really crazy. Um, but Raquel, is she's a little fiery. She got rid of two guys. And she's like kind of super single right now. Can you kind of tell me about what fans can expect for this season? Well, um... This season, we open up with a wedding, and we don't know what's gonna happen and who's gonna get married, and um, that's kind of the biggest surprise. So when we, when, when the audience catches up with all of us, um, I think that the curiosity about which girl is getting married or which woman is getting married is really exciting. And for Raquel personally, this season is just about her second kind of journey. You know, last season when we met her, she wanted to follow her passion and, and go into fashion and, and buy this boutique and mm -hmm. then um, she lost the lame guy that she was kind of engaged to, that she was engaged to, was kind of lame. And, um, and, and then she kind of moved around a lot and she <laughs> dated a lot and slept around and, and had a lot of single fun, which was great. And I think what we'll see in season three is a much more grounded Raquel, um, someone who's much more uh, sassy and feisty and she's really coming out of her own. Um, this season was a lot of fun because we got to really play on set and, and explore our, char our characters and um, for me that was taking Raquel out of such a, a, a sweet place, mm -hmm. which she's still very, she's still sweet but things aren't as innocent and even though she still kind of believes in fairy tales and dreams and true love and, and all of that, she is also more realistic and she's standing her ground this season. Right, right. Um, in the first episode, you kind of, Raquel gave Keisha a little bit of taste of real medicine and like told her about herself because she, you know, fell in love with Malcolm and then just disappeared on everybody and then came back like, hey bitches, I'm back. And and now you were like, no, like, yeah, no, no, that's no. what I'm not gonna do. Yeah, no, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't just work like that, you know? Um, we went through a lot, like, I think that something you'll see this season is um, Raquel and April's relationship um, and, and that stems from the fact that like Keisha had left and they went through similar things or we, they went through things together and then when Keisha came back she thought that everything was just kind of going to go back to how it was right. before and Raquel's got to let her know like it just don't go down like that like you've been gone and I, I I understand and I appreciate why you had to leave and live your life but just don't think that like the clock stopped ticking um okay can you tell me how much Raquel is is like you in real life or are you guys completely opposite we're not completely opposite um a, a, f a few things that are, are similar is our love of fashion you know um I grew up modeling and so I love clothes and hair and, 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 and all, all that comes with within that realm. And she's obviously very similar, right? She's following her passion in fashion. And, um, and that's the other thing that I would say is, is really similar between us is that we both are really passionate people who, who kind of believe in doing what our heart tells us and right. not what our parents or our friends or society um, are, you know what their kind of their opinion of what we should be doing or who we should be marrying or who we should be dating and what we should be doing for a living or how we do it mm -hmm. and just like we got to see Raquel last season you know leave this kind of lame guy their parents were like oh my god he's so good on paper and this is the person you should marry she's like he's lame I'm not passionate about him she goes off um, and and the same way she you know takes her whole life savings and decides to invest it in this store um, is very similar to the kind of way that I've always lived my life, which is, you know, I love who I love and I do what I do because I like doing it and I don't really care what anyone else's opinion of any of those things are. All right. Um, in your opinion, what do you think is like one major misstep that single ladies take like when they're out dating? First of all, like, don't start asking whether he wants kids okay. or if he wants to get married. 
like early in the forget the first date. Don't ask that early in the relationship. Mm -hmm. Like I think that I think my husband asked me to marry him because I was like that's not anything near of what mm -hmm. I was interested in. I never even thought like I was gonna ever get married. So I think that that's kind of like. The opposite is really appealing. Okay. Like I see a lot of my girlfriends are, are kind of like, oh, I think he'd make a great dad. Girl, you shouldn't be thinking that. You had four <laughs> dinners with him. Four dinners, relax. So, so stuff like that. And um, you know, uh, I think that I think women need to get out of their idea of what a man should be. Okay. He should be six feet tall. He should have this degree. He should have a degree from this school. He should make this amount of money. He should look like this. He should be white, black, Hispanic, whatever, and just understand and feel people from the heart. What else can fans kind of look forward to this season and kind of how the progression of all the characters? Well, a big thing is we've become a bigger ensemble cast. Mm -hmm. Latoya Luckett's joining the show. Yes, okay. she's mean. <laughs> oh, her character is, of course. Not you've seen, I like, forget she's you've sweet. seen. No, she's super sweet. You've seen one of the episodes. Yes. Uh, she's going to be our resident mean girl. Um, so that's really fun. And um, Damien, Damien's come on the show, Damien Wayne's. Mm -hmm. And so um, he's hysterical. So we've got this great, you know, bunch of new additions to the cast. And you know, most people know that we've got new writers this season. And so, uh, with the new writers, we were kind of able to play on set a lot, and 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 just kind of explore these characters, mm -hmm. and, and and that's going to be really fun to see how the audience takes takes it because we had a really good time filming this season. There's a lot more freedom in figuring things out for these characters and helping them grow. Hi guys, you're watching GlobalGrind.com.